My Tinder date told me his supervillain plan so I reported him to the FBI. So, I, 27 feet, recently went on a Tinder date with this guy, 32 miles, who works at a nuclear power plant. Seemed interesting over text, but the actual date turned into a complete nightmare. First of all, he shows up 45 minutes late, no apology, and just started bragging about his job as shift leader in the control room of the power plant. His attitude was really off-putting, he talks about having power over midgets and vermin, and by that, he means people in general, which was really disturbing. He ranted about how much he hates everyone he sees and how he wants to cause chaos and destruction. I tried to steer the conversation to something else, but he kept fixating on his job. Then things got really worse, he starts bragging about knowing how to trigger a reactor core meltdown, laughing about it like it's some kind of joke. I couldn't tell if he was serious, but it totally freaked me out. It seemed like he was getting a kick out of the idea of using his position to cause a catastrophe. I ended the date early, went home, and couldn't stop thinking about what he said. Was he trying to impress me in a sick way, or could he really be dangerous? After a lot of thought, I decided to report him to the FBI. I figured it's better to be safe than sorry, right? But now I'm second-guessing myself. Some friends think I did the right thing, but others say I should have just ignored it since he was probably joking. Can't shake the feeling I might have overreacted and potentially ruined someone's career over a bad joke. Do you think this was the right thing for me to do? I'll provide an update as soon as possible. Relevant reply. There are multiple layers of safety mechanisms at nuclear power plants. It's not as simple as some disgruntled employee triggering a catastrophic failure that causes the core to collapse. If that were the case, anyone having a terrible day or being given a nice payout could set it off by pressing a button. He had a really complicated plan to shut down the coolant, which included knocking out his co-workers and barricading himself in the control room. He also said he had some convoluted loophole to get past automated safety features. Maybe he was completely full of crap and making it up, but it sounded real to me. Update Dude absolutely blows up my phone after the date, sending literally over a hundred texts and voicemails. He gets increasingly angry that I won't respond. At first he goes on about how I'm the perfect girl, I'm the girl of his dreams, he wants me to be his sidekick as he conquers the world, I'm the Harley Quinn to his joker, yada yada yada. Then he gets increasingly angry and deranged as I won't respond, leaves these crazed voicemails where he's going on and on about I don't know what. He starts going on these incel rants going on and on about how women have never given him a chance and how he's going to teach them all a big lesson. So I finally give in and respond. I'm pissed off and want to knock him down a notch. I tell him I contacted the FBI. He says he doesn't give a crap because there's no way they can get him. I tell him he's full of it because, according to many experts who reply to my first post, commercial reactors have too many automatic safeguards to prevent a lone worker from doing anything dangerous. So he sends me this picture of a thumb drive. He says the thumb drive has some code written in C that will disable all the secondary and tertiary safeguards and the emergency shutdown. He says he's a self-taught cybersecurity genius and he knows how to disable all these systems. He told me this plan to knock out his co-workers and lock himself in the control room, and explosives rigged up to stop police from coming in. He told me this is all to punish female dogs who never gave him a chance and to start the incel rebellion. Then he gave me a choice to be his queen or to perish like all the other vermin. I knew what to do next, send these messages to the FBI. I still haven't heard anything. I'm not sure I ever will.